Hi, welcome back to the online session. In this session, we will discuss about all the shortest path problem. How to write an algorithm for all the shortest path algorithm? How to compute the incomplexity of all the shortest problem? And with a simple example, we will discuss how to solve the problem, given problem by using dynamic programming technique. We will see in this session. <clears throat> Friends, the given problem is Find the shortest path distance from every pair of vertices in the given graph. Here, the pairs of vertices in the sense, suppose 1, 2, 2 is the pair, 1, 2, 3 is another pair, 1, 2, 4 is another pair. So, find the shortest distance from one pair to another pair. So, in the second pair, 2 to 1, 2 to 3, vertex 2 to vertex 4. So, find the shortest path from these pairs. Next, find the shortest path from vertex 3 to vertex 1, vertex 3 to vertex 2, vertex 3 to vertex 4. This is another way of finding the shortest path from one vertex to another vertex. Next, find the shortest path from vertex 4 to 1, vertex 4 to vertex 2, vertex 4 to vertex 3. So, there are four ways we can measure and solve the problem. And the given problem can be solved by using the concept of dynamic programming. Now consider the given example. We can consider the example as a real-time example. We need to find the distance from one city to another city, namely Delhi, Hyderabad, Chennai, and Mumbai. So these four vertices are having the name four different names. Imagine that. Now the git problem statement is you can take any pair of vertices. That means that you can take any pair of cities. Suppose you can take the pair of city from Delhi to Hyderabad. If you want to travel from Delhi to Hyderabad or Hyderabad to Delhi, consider this is the pair. This is the pair of vertices here. If you consider the pair of vertices are Delhi to Hyderabad, there are many ways you can travel from Delhi to Hyderabad. But here, you can travel Delhi to Hyderabad through direct path. That means that there is no visitor nodes, there is no cities existing in between Delhi to Hyderabad. Starting from Delhi, move to Hyderabad or starting from Hyderabad and reach to Delhi. So direct path. So what is the total distance from one city to another city you can measure. And another way of moving the, or finding the distance from the pairs of Delhi to Hyderabad is through indirect path. Through indirect path that is possible through intermediate route. So here there are many ways you can reach from Delhi to Hyderabad without uh, if there is with, uh, without um, direct path there is a possibility. How it is from Delhi to Mumbai you can reach then <clears throat> Mumbai to Chennai you can reach then Chennai to De Hyderabad you can reach. So if you want to move from Hyderabad to uh, Delhi to uh, Hyderabad there is another way is from Delhi to Mumbai, Mumbai to Chennai or Chennai to Hyderabad. So another way is from Delhi to Chennai, 
Chennai to Hyderabad. Another way is from Delhi to Mumbai and Mumbai to Chennai. So these are many ways you can move from one city to another city. So here you can observe that only thing is there are many cities available in India. If you want to travel from one city to another city in India, you need to always looking for shortest distance from a pair of cities. So if you want to travel from one city to another city through pairs of cities, there is a way is through direct path or through intermediate path. So if the compare the direct path with the intermediate path, so you can find out the minimum shortest path that can be considered as the minimum route. Here, the total number of matrices are the total number of vertices are four, and uh, hence four power two. That means that uh, sixty number of results will be generated. You can move from one pair of vertices to another pair of vertices. Total there are sixteen solutions you will get. How you will get is consider the matrix of four by four. If the matrix size is four by four, then only you will get the first row and uh, second row and uh, third row and uh, fourth row. So in this way, you need to fill the gaps of. First row, second row, third row, fourth row. You will get the matrix that is the final distance matrix D4 that will produce the result or shortest path from one node to another node in this given graph. One, two, three over here, and here also one, two, three, four. So here, in you need to find the distance from one to one, one to two. One to three, one to four. Two to one, two to two, two to three, two to four. Three to one, three to two, three to three, three to four. Four to one, four to two, four to three, four to four. In this way, you need to find the shortest path from all possible ways. Totally, you will get sixteen solutions for measuring the distance from one pair to another pair. friends the problem can be solved by using dynamic programming technique dynamic programming is one of the algorithm design technique which can be used to solve minimization problems or optimization problems in which once the problem is to be a complex problem is to be divided into some number of sub problems if the sub problem becomes the original problem Again, original problem uh, result will be uh, overlapping. Then the result will be considered as the dynamic programming solution to the given problem. In this way, you can solve the given problem. So now let us see how to solve the given problem in a uh, stage-wise manner. Okay, in a stage-wise manner, we will see. So this is the first step. the given step in the first step the what we will do is we need to remove all the self loops there are no self loops are available in the given graph that's why no need to remove the self loops here so if any self loop you can find in the given graph immediately you need to remove the self loop self loop means 1 to 1 2 to 2 3 to 3 and 4 to 4 these are considered as self loops if self loops are found in any one of the given graph the first task is you need to remove all the self loops and parallel edges also you need to remove the parallel edges also here there is no parallel edges found parallel edge in the sense i will tell you 1 2 2 there is another path of cost is 3 this is called as a parallel edge why because there is two routes direct path exists from Node one to node three. One is one to two, and one to three. The cost is eight and three respectively. If this type of parallel edges are found in the given graph, immediately you need to remove those type of parallel paths. Just remove it. Okay. <clears throat> Next step is in the given graph. There are 
neither self edges nor parallel edges are found immediately you need to remove it okay so next step we will go for next step this is the second step <clears throat> here you need to prepare a matrix of size 4 by 4 the matrix size is 4 by 4 matrix how 4 by 4 matrix size will be generated the number of edges the number of vertices are 4 1 2 3 And four total number of vertices are four. So the matrix size is four rows and four columns. And total number of results we need to find is sixteen solutions we will get each and every part. Okay. Now here consider D zero D zero in the sense there is no intermediate path exists. So initially we need to generate the matrix. from the given graph we need to generate the matrix from the given graph that is d0 that means that the values are the weights of the given graph can be placed the values can be placed in the given matrices the while preparing the matrices there are some guidelines you need to prepare the first one is write the initial matrix initial distance matrix so this is the initial distance matrix so it represents the distance between every pair of vertices in the form of the given weights so so the weights are 8 1 2 9 these are weights which represents the distance between one pair of vertices to another pair of vertices so here for diagonal elements the distance value is zero so here the diagonal elements are these are considered as a diagonal elements and the distance of the diagonal elements are to be treated as zero so diagonal elements are 1 to 1 2 to 2 3 to 3 and 4 to 4 these are called as a self loops or diagonal elements those self loops or diagonal elements distance it is to be treated as zero so the diagonal elements distance is to be considered as zero here next is for vertices having a direct edge between them the distance value is equal to weight so here if there is any direct edge applying or available from one edge to one value to another vertices so the distance value equal to the weight value distance means eight one two two there is a direct path exist so of weight is eight so that's why one two two the weight is Eight, so that is the the direct path, and two two three also direct path is available. Two two three direct path is there, that is one, and uh, four two three direct path of nine. Four two three direct path of uh, size is uh, nine. The path is nine, so we can mention like that. So what is is having no direct path between them, then the distance is to be set to infinity. When we will set the distance. Uh, is infinity is consider the distance from 4 to 1 node 4 to node 1 there is no direct path exist that's why the distance from there is no direct path exist from vertex 4 to vertex 1 pair so here that means that so the the distance from 4 to 1 is to be set to infinity in this way we need to prepare the initial matrix uh, with the um, without any intermediate vertices so the first matrix is to be generated here okay friends next we will move to another matrix that is uh, clear it first mm -hmm. so the initial matrix is to be generated with from the given graph uh, so total uh, the values are to be fitted over here so here the diagonals will be zeros all the diagonal values will be zeros and if there is no direct path existing between from one uh, pair of vertices to another pair of vertices so there is no direct edge is found you simply mark as infinity and the infinity distance we don't know but uh, Uh, we need to fill the infinity value with the minimum distance value this is the objective of given problem the main objective of the given problem is we need to 
fill the minimum distance value uh, with the infinity values here total we need to find how many values are 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if you find the six values we will get the answer result value Next, find the value of D1, the distance of D1 we will discuss here. So distance of D1 in the sense, we need to prepare a matrix via vertex 1. So vertex 1 is the intermediate vertex. So D1 in the sense, you need to prepare the matrix with the intermediate vertex as vertex 1. Vertex 1 is to be considered as a intermediate vertex. Here, vertex 1 is to be considered as a intermediate vertex here. So once vertex 1 is to be considered as an intermediate vertex, all one rows and one columns, first rows and first columns are to be, a values are not to be changed. If you consider these values are not to be changed and remaining values may be change will here. So here, if you want to find the distance from between from vertex 3 to vertex 2, you want to find the distance between vertex 3 to vertex 2, we will see how it is possible. 3 to 2. 3 to 2. So if you want to find the vertex, how 12 we will get, we will get, how we will get the value is 12, we will see. If you want to find the distance between vertex 3 to vertex 2, this is vertex 3, this is vertex 2, and we need to find the minimum distance from vertex 3 to vertex 2 through the, through the intermediate vertex 12 through the intermediate vertex 1. In this case, first find the direct path exists or not. There is no direct path, that's why you can consider it as infinity. There is no direct path exists, that's why you can consider it as infinity. So there is another way of moving from vertex 3 to vertex 2 that can be possible through vertex 1. Through vertex 1 that can be possible. I will see. So through vertex 1, how it is possible is from vertex 3 to vertex 1, we will move. First, move from vertex 3 to vertex 1. Then vertex 1 to vertex 2 you will move so if you want to move from vertex 2 3 to vertex 2 through the intermediate vertex 1 it is possible then the total cost is 4 plus 8 12 the total cost is 4 plus 8 we will get the answer is 12 so that's why so we will find the minimum cost is 12 and uh, we need to find how this five will come here the infinity value is replaced with the five. How we will see the value will come. So here we need to find the distance of three to four. The distance of three to four. So find the distance of three to four. So distance of three to four you need to find. How to find the distance of three to four? We will see. Distance of three to four. We will see. So how we will get the answer, we will see. So here the intermediate vertex is this is. So this is the intermediate vertex. Vertex 1 is the intermediate vertex. Find 3, 2, 4. This is vertex 3. This is vertex 4. Find the cost, minimum cost from pair of 3 to 4. Okay. So here there is no direct path exists. That's why you can consider it as infinity. 3 to 4 direct path is not there. So hence there is a possibility from 3 to 1. Move from 3 to 1. Then 1 to 4. 1 to 4. 3 to 1 size is cost is 4. And 1 to 4 cost is 1. And the total cost is 5. So the 5 is to be considered here. 5 is to be considered here. So in this way we can find the minimum cost from vertex 3 to vertex 4 through the intermediate vertex 1, through the intermediate vertex 1. Okay. So the first matrix was generated here. So in this, this means that, this means that we have generated 16 values. Each and every row there are 4 values 
and 16 solutions are generated. These 16 solutions states that the minimum cost from one pair of vertices to another pair of vertices. If you are to find the, if you are to know the distance from this vertex two to vertex three, the distance is zero. And so still uh, some more values are need to find why because infinity values are found in the given graph, in the given matrices, and we need to find the minimum uh, roots and the minimum values or distances are replaced with the infinity values. That can be done further. Next move to distance of two. So now this is the way uh, we need to find uh, uh, solutions for uh, intermediate vertex two. Here, consider the intermediate vertex is two. If you consider the intermediate vertex is two, two is to be considered as intermediate vertex, and the second row, second column values are not to be changed. Okay. So if you want to find the value of one to three. So see the value of distance of one to three. We will see how we will do it. Distance of one to three. How to calculate the minimum distance one to three pair? So there is uh, analyze. There is a direct path exists or not. So distance from sorry vertex one to vertex three. Distance from vertex one to vertex three. Is there any direct path? There is no direct path. So that's why. And consider as a infinity then through intermediate vertex two is there any way it is there is a way one to two and two to three the total cost is eight plus one nine eight plus one nine so among those two paths this is the direct path and this is the indirect path through intermediate vertex two path we will find the minimum value is nine so the nine is to be replaced with the existing value here Next, check whether the distance of 4 comma 3 is 3 or not. Distance between 4 comma 3, we will find out, okay? So now, how to find the value here, minimum value? So, it indicates distance between 4 comma 3. Distance between 4 comma 3. So, the distance between 4th row, third column. Now, first, this is the distance vertex 4, vertex 3. Find the distance between 4 to 3 through intermediate vertex 2. Through intermediate vertex 2. So here, 4 to 3 direct path. There is a 4 to 3, there is, a, there is a direct path. So what is the value? 9. 4 to 3 direct path is there, 9. And uh, 4 to 3 through intermediate vertex 2, there is a path. 4 to 2 and 2 to 1. 4 to 2 is 2 and 2 to 1 is 1. Comma, the value is 2 plus 1, that is 3. And among those values, 9 comma 3, which one is minimum? The minimum value is 3. And we can replace the value with the 3 value. So in this way, we can find uh, another matrix values. Next, move to vertex is considered as a intermediate vertex. Now find or generate the matrix if you consider vertex 3 as a intermediate vertex. If you consider here vertex 3 is an intermediate vertex, vertex 3 is an intermediate vertex, find the distance from vertex 3 to all the remaining vertices like vertex 3 to 1, 3 to 2, 3 to 4, we need to find. Okay, so here uh, assume that 2 to this value, whether uh, this, how to get the value. So in the sense, distance between 2 to 1, distance between 2 to 1, you, we need to calculate. How to find the distance between 2 to 1, okay? If you want to find the distance between 2 to 1, there is two ways. One is direct path or another one is indirect path. So check whether direct path existing in the given graph or not. So 2 to 1. Vertex 2 to vertex 1, there is no direct path exists. So that's why the first result is infinity. And check whether through it, the vertex 3 is there any direct path. So that means that if you are to move from 2 to 1 through intermediate vertex 3, is it possible? It is possible. 
this is the way you can move from here to here so first move from 2 to 3 then 2 to 1 the total cost is 1 plus 4 5 total cost is 5 and uh, you can compare the costs of direct path and uh, through the indirect path intermediate mode 2 and the best uh, minimization cost is 5 so that's why we need to replace it here in this way. And we will, we will see how six will come. How six will come? So you need to calculate here D3 is the intermediate vertex is D3. Find the minimum distance from vertex two to vertex four. Vertex two, vertex four. Find the minimum distance from vertex two to vertex four. Assume that is there any direct path? There is no direct path. So that's why infinity you can consider initially. And through intermediate vertex uh, 3, is there any path you can find that is uh, you need to find. There is a path from 2 to 3 and uh, 3 to 1 and 1 to 4. So this is the way you can find out. So here 1 plus 4 plus 1. Total size is 6. And uh, you can compare infinity with 6 and you will get the result is 6. Okay. Next, 4 to 0, we will see whether it is correct or not. 4 to 1. Find the distance between 4 to 1 here. Distance from 4 to 1. Vertex 4 to 1. How to find the distance between vertex 4 to 1? Through intermediate vertex is 3. Through intermediate vertex 3. So vertex 4 and vertex 1. Check whether there is, is there any direct path. There is no direct path exist. So that's why infinity you can consider initially. And is there any intermediate uh, path is there from vertex 4 to vertex 1? We will check. So there is a intermediate path existing from vertex 4 to vertex 1 through vertex 3 and through vertex 2 also. But here we can consider through vertex 3 only. Okay. So how we will move 4 to 3 and 3 to 1. So 4 to 3, 3 to 1, 9 plus 4, 13. So how we will get this? The value is 13 we will get. But here another way is uh, if you want to move from 4 to 2 now, 4 to 1 now, 4, if you want to move from 4 to 1 and there is another way is uh, mm, 4 to 1, another uh, way of 4 to 1 is uh, 2, yeah, two. 4 to 1, yeah, 4 to 2, 2 to 3, and 3 to 4, 4 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, value is 7, 4 to 2, 2 to 3, and 3 to 1, the value is 4 plus 2 plus 1, 7, so among these three, the minimum is 7. So 7 is the best minimum cost. So in this way, we can find the, we can prepare the matrix with intermediate vertex as 3. Next, uh, uh, find the uh, matrix with the intermediate vertex as 4. We need to generate uh, 16 solutions from the given graph. Okay. So here, this is considered as the last matrix, D4 matrix, which represents the shortest path distance between every pair of vertices. So finally, I can conclude that. So this graph will represent this matrix, will represent the minimum cost or distance um, from, one, from one pair of vertices to another pair of vertices totally. 4 into 4, 4 square, that is 16 uh, solutions are to be uh, generated. So in the given graph, we can consider vertex 4 is to be considered as the, vertex 4 is to be considered as the intermediate vertex. Here vertex 4 is to be considered as the intermediate vertex. Now we will see how to uh, find the distance between from uh, one edge to another uh, edge we will see here. If you want to find the distance uh, between uh, 1 to 3, so here how we will get the value we will see. Now if you want to find the distance from vertex 1 to vertex 2, 
So if you want to find the distance break between 1 to 2. So this is vertex 1 and this is vertex 2. If you want to find the distance between vertex 1 to 1, there is a direct path exist. That is the value is 8. And, and we will assume that any minimization value is there other than this is we need to find through intermediate vertex. That is intermediate vertex is 4. So if you travel from vertex 1 to vertex uh, um, 2 through intermediate vertex 4, in this case, the travel distance is 1 to 4 and 4 to 2, 2 plus 1 you will get the total value is 3. The total value you will get 3. So you can compare the um, <coughs> total, <coughs> total cost 8 comma 3 and 3 is the minimum cost. That's why we can consider 3 is the uh, best cost here. Next, we will check whether 4, how 4 will be generated. That means that find the distance between 1 to 3. Find the distance between 1 to 3. So here, if you want to find the distance between 1 to 3 through intermediate vertex 4 here, 1 to 3 if you want to find how it is. There is no direct path existing between 1 to 3. That's why you can consider as a infinity and through intermediate vertex 1 to 3, is there any path we will see. So 1 to 3, is there any path? Uh, sorry, 1 to 4, is there any path? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, we need to find this one now. This value you need to find. That means one to three uh, distance we need to find. One to three distance you need to find. One to three. So vertex one is the source node. Vertex three is the destination node, and the through intermediate node is four. And there is no direct path exists. That's why infinity. And uh, how to reach one to three through intermediate node? There is a possibility. 1 to 4, 4 to 2, 2 to 3. If you move 1 to 4, 4 to 2, 2 to 3, the size is 1 plus 2 plus 4. 4. And among infinity and 4, you can compare the minimum one is 4. So we will get the result replaced by that one. <coughs> and also, friends, we will see how we will get the value 7 here. How we will get the value 7. So you need to find the distance between distance of uh, 3 to 2. 3 comma to find the distance from 3 to 2 to intermediate vertex 4 to the intermediate vertex 4 and 3 to 2 means this is 3 vertex 3 and vertex 2 is there any direct path there is no direct path that's why infinity you can consider and through intermediate vertex 4 how it is possible it is possible now we will see 3 to 1 initially 4 and 4 to 1 to 4 1 and 4 to 2 so the total size is 4 plus 1 plus 2, 7. And uh, you can compare these two values, which one is minimum, 7 is minimum. If you compare to infinity, so the total minimum is required to be replaced with the minimization. So friends, in this way, uh, we can uh, solve the problem. And finally, uh, 4 into 4, 16 number of solutions are uh, generated. These 16 solutions will be states that which finds the shortest path distance between every pair of vertices in the uh, given graph. If you consider vertex 3, vertex 4 as the intermediate vertices. And uh, find at, at most in the given problem, there are four vertices in the given graph. So there are four matrices of order four into four, total number of solutions are to be, 16 solutions are to be generated and the diagonal elements of each matrix will always be treated as zero. And this is the final uh, solution for measuring the shortest path among all pair shortest uh, path in the given graph. Now uh, we will discuss uh, how to write an algorithm for uh, Floyd Warshall algorithm? Another name for Floyd Warshall algorithm is R pair shortest path algorithm. So, in the R pair shortest path algorithm, the first step is whether check whether the given graph is a weighted directed graph or not. If the given graph is weighted directed graph, then only we are able to solve the given problem. If weights are not given, are directed, the given graph is not a directed graph, then only we cannot be able to solve, to solve the problem. So the first point is ensure that whether the given graph is 
directed weighted graph or not. So G is the graph and V are the vertices and E represents the edges in the given graph. The problem statement is find the shortest path between each pair of vertices in the given graph. This is the uh, result or problem statement of the given graph. So here you need to find the distance between every pair of vertices. Once you can find the distance that can be placed in the matrix form. So always remember that the self loops of the given matrix, the self loops are, should not be neglected. The distance between one pair to another pair you need to calculate here. Initialize the distance from um, one uh, vertex to the self vertex is to be considered as zero. That means that distance from one to one, two to two, three to three, four to four. That means that these are diagonal. Um, what it says, all the diagonal values in the given matrix have to be set to uh, zero. So D and D is considered as a diagonal matrices. So here the diagonal matrices uh, distance is to be considered as a zero. We need to initialize the value. Okay, so and here S comma P is considered as a pair of vertices. So this is the pair. The pair is uh, uh, belongs to the edge. So the each and every edge in the given graph is to be considered as a pair, and we need to consider the distance from one pair to another pair, and which one is the minimum distance that can be considered as a all pair shortest path here. And if you want to find the distance from one pair to another pair, so that can be represents with the cost of the or weights of, of the given graph. Once the cost or weight is to be clear, given that can be represents the weight is our cost of the given graph. And here uh, you need to find the distance from one pair to another pair. Uh, if you want to find the optimal solution or find the minimization problem you want to solve, you need to focus on direct path. Here, distance of I comma J, which means that there is a direct path exist or not from I to J node. You need to verify if there is a direct path exist that can be compared with the intermediate node through here. K is considered as a intermediate vertex. And if you want to find the distance through intermediate vertex, that is I to intermediate K and K to J. So this, this statement it represents the find the distance um, between one path to another path through the intermediate vertex that can be compared with the uh, direct path. Uh, here, which one will be minimum value? That value is to be considered that. So always we need to find the minimum uh, cost from one pair of vertices to another pair of vertices by comparing direct path with the intermediate vertex path. So in this way, we can solve the problem. So now it's the time to uh, find the time complexity of the uh, given problem, all pair shortest problem. In the given problem, the uh, algorithm consists of there are three loops over all the nodes. So each and every loop in the inner loops and just only one constant complexity value. And hence, so in the loops will be executed order of n square times, whereas the inner loop will be executed only one time. And total number of time complexity is n into n square, that is order of n cube. So here the highest coefficient value is n cube. That's why so the time complexity of the given algorithm is order of n cube. That is order of n cube is the time complexity of the given problem. So friends, in this way, we can solve the any problems which are related to dynamic problems.